okay so last night while everybody was asleep i did a walmart order um just to get a few things like to cook breakfast and then something for dinner tonight um so i actually placed that online so i'm on my way now to walmart um it is 7 18 a.m and today is 9 20 21 which means today is pre-op day so um I'm going to go to pre-op at, I'm going to be there at 10 a.m. Because I'm thinking if I go to pre-op early, I'll get an early surgery appointment. So I'm going to be there at 10 a.m. on the dot. Um, but that's what I'm doing now. Um, I left everybody at, at the Airbnb because everybody is still asleep. And, you know, I'm just up and trying to get stuff done. So um, I just wanted to check in just to let y'all know. Um... I already did some some footage of yesterday of us at the Miami Dolphins game. Um, I did a video, okay, of the Airbnb. I'm just trying to make sure I'm getting everything along this process. I will say this. Um, I drove from my house to Miami was seven, seven, well, it was seven hours from um, my house straight to the Miami Dolphins stadium. It was not a problem getting here. Like, my boyfriend, he drove the whole seven hours. So, if you're scared to fly, I don't know how long of a drive it would be. But, if you're under maybe like seven or eight hours, the drive is, is okay. Um, That was my only issue. I was just thinking, this is going to be a long behind drive. But then I was thinking, well, you, do, you could do eight hours easily because I normally, I could go to Atlanta, that's four hours, and then turn around and come back. That's another four. So I normally do eight, I normally drive eight hours and didn't even know it. But yeah, so the drive was quick and easy. Um, I think we did one stop. This rental van that I got is awesome on gas. Like we stopped once and I filled it up with, I think it was 30, $33 and I'm still and still I have not went to the gas station yet so um I'll probably go after pre-op but yeah good good van good gas so I made it back from Walmart I gotta whisper because everybody's sleep and I'm just putting the groceries up
Okay, so it is um, 9.36 or is it 9? Yeah, 9.36. Um, I'm leaving the Airbnb now. It says I am 25 minutes away, so I should be there at 10.01. I don't want to wait to pre-op, y'all. It just got real. It just got real. So, yeah. So, um, once I get there, I'll start recording. Destination will be on the right. Okay, y'all. It says um, that I'm about to get ready to pull up at my destination. And it said it's going to be on the right. I'm hoping they got a sign out front. Because if not, I'm probably going to pass it. Your destination is on the right. I think that's it right there. Let's see. Hold on, y'all. This is 131.55. Let me look. Okay, hold on, y'all. Let me look and see the address, and I'll come right back. Okay, so the address was 13055, and I drove, of course, right past it. So, I'm guessing now I got to get back on. I'm wondering if I could do a U-turn. And then I could turn in. Okay, and then I'll be able to turn in down there. so I can get in the turning lane. Let me tell you something. In Miami, they drive. They drive, drive. You hear me? I'm trying to see if they're going to let me. Ooh, that's a nice little Range Rover. Okay. See if I can make a U-turn. If this van to go. Hold on, y'all. All right. Made it. All right, so that's 13155, and this is 13055. Hopefully, I could turn in from right here. I'm just going to make another U-turn. Oh, I can get in right there. Okay, so now we got to see what parking be about. Cause I see people parked way up on the grass and everything. Reserved. I wonder if I could get in right. I would say reserved. Are all these reserved? Cause I need to get in sweet. I think they said Suite 101. Let me look again, y'all. Okay, so yeah, I do say Suite 101, but my thing is that all of these parking spots say reserved. So where do I park? Yeah, slow your fucking ass down. You ain't supposed to be going... Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I forgot I was on YouTube just that fast. I'm about to park like these people parking. Honestly. Yeah, I'm about to park like these people parking. Hopefully, don't nobody mess with it. We'll see y'all. So, who gonna have a fatty tomorrow? Uh -huh, me? Yep, booked and paid. But, um, y'all, it is 12.51. In my previous clip... Y'all could see where I told y'all that I got here at 10 o'clock. It is 12.51 and I'm just now leaving. And the only thing I did was fill out paperwork and pay. Okay, so anyway, so yeah, I'm booked and paid. 
So I knew they was going to try to get me with something, which is not a problem. Um, I'm just glad I didn't have to buy no extra stuff like the cell saver and stuff because my hemoglobin was on point. Um, the only thing I did buy, I did pay for extra. And this was actually not bad at all from what I've been seeing on the videos. Um, I had to pay $50. That's going to be the drug test, pregnancy test, and the nicotine test. And then I did pay $150 for another garment. So that way when um, I come to do my uh, pre-op, I mean not my pre-op, my post-op, um, and I get my massage, um, I can be washing my other uh, Faja and then, you know, have my other one on. And it does come with my, uh, with the, it comes with, it already came with one garment, then it comes with the foams and then the um the board so all that did come in my other package i just bought an additional faja um she didn't let me choose the color though and that's what i was asking i was like um can i get one in black i don't want to be seeing all that stuff and my boyfriend is gonna flip when he see all that stuff but it might not be too bad because i do believe that i will be getting drains so we'll see how that goes but yeah i was in pre-op from in the waiting room it's clean and everything in there um i advise that all the um all the plastic surgery places they need a bigger waiting room like a bigger waiting room that way they could separate maybe like their pre-op and post-op people but the people that were post-op was walking straight in and going straight to the back so that wasn't the issue um but when i first got there i did have to stand um because they only had like three six seven eight nine they only had about nine chairs and you know with pre-op um they tell you to come in between 10 and 2 so if everybody coming in first thing in the morning you know it's a lot of people in there um so it really was just you know nowhere to sit which was it's really not that big of a deal but the thing is for me is that we wait two hours to go in the back and only be back there for 10 minutes and then i'm and then i paid and i was done um i thought i was gonna get fitted for my garments today but i'm guessing not i guess we'll do that tomorrow or I guess I'm just going to wake up and be in one. But we'll see how that goes. Um, and I did not get my prescriptions today. So I'm guessing I'm going to get those tomorrow as well. Use the left two lanes to turn left onto Southwest 117th Avenue. Which I was kind of hesitant about because now my boyfriend's going to have to drive around tomorrow to try and find the prescriptions. And... I'm going to have to, like, give him some pharmacies to go to. Use the left two lanes um, to turn left onto Southwest 117th Avenue. You know, provide him with my insurance and stuff. It's going to be, it's going to be really hard for him. Or I may, I don't know, I kind of want that done before I get done with surgery. But I may just have to wait till I come out of surgery. Um, because then it's going to take a while to get him filled. So I don't know. Hopefully he'll be able to do it. That would be great if he would. But um, yeah, I didn't record anything. Um, when we went, we didn't even like really go in a room, you know, and like sit down and talk at all. I literally just went like in this little office space. Um, and she just, you know, showed me, went through my paperwork, said all my paperwork was done and I did my payment. So it's not too really it's not it's not much you missed at all except that i waited for two hours to go back there and only be back there for like 10 15 minutes um i told the lady i was like yeah all my paperwork is turned in because ain't no way i drove seven hours not to begin surgery tomorrow nope didn't do it but um i think they did overcharge me 25 that might be fifty dollars i don't know um at this point whatever but i really do think that they ch overcharged me um one thousand feet use the left by fifty dollars because it's showing that my last payment that was due was 46.75 and my last payment that should have been due was 46.25 so i am gonna ask her about that tomorrow because um Use the left two lanes to turn left onto the Florida Turnpike North Ramp. Cause my my proceed, I'm gonna have to look and see. Is it 49, 49.75? Yeah, I'm gonna have to uh, look at my paperwork and see. Cause I think she might have um they might have overcharged me per my contract. And, and um I would like that money back. Turnpike. Um, being that uh I've already paid thousands of dollars.
So, <laughs> I'll be um checking out with them tomorrow and going over that just to verify. I'll probably call them later today just to make sure. But I'm going to look at my contract first just to make sure I got my pricing right before I try to check anybody. All right. Hmm? It's hot as hell. Am I getting in the walk? Well, you do, you do the beach walk. I'm going to go out here to the water. Look how nice that water looks. Oh, I wouldn't. I would have did that. How much? I wonder how much that is to get on the little parachute thingy up in the air. No, my stomach ain't built for that. We at the beach, y'all. What are these chairs? And you gotta rent the chairs and umbrellas. You gotta rent the chairs and umbrellas. You ain't gonna believe how much it is. Fifteen dollars to rent one chair. Miami is me. Fifteen dollars to uh, rent one chair. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars for the for you to open up the umbrella. The umbrella that's attached to the chair. Shut the. F it is fifteen dollars to sit in one chair and twenty dollars to open up the umbrella. That is crazy. I'm gonna lay on this towel for free. Take off these shoes for free. It is hot, y'all. It's a different type of hot. And this is for real. I need that water to be on point. Oh, it looked dirty at the beginning. Uh-uh. Hey, look, man. Wilding, man. Hold on. We're going to have to walk to something in between. What's these? What these cones mean? Oh, like, uh, like not to sit in between them. Okay, so we could still go down on this end. Yeah, we got to go down. They got a little build up of seaweed or something right there. Mm -hmm. I don't think you could do nothing in between these cones. That's why I kept walking. What is y'all looking at? Is it wet right here? Huh? Well then, baby, come up this way then. Where you going? Where you going? Huh? No, I'm not doing all that walking. I'm going right here to put my towel down. How much you going walking? Look, baby, all this is all along the beach. I'm talking about you didn't want to get in the water right here, so I walked to where it's clear at. But it's a whole nother patch down there at the other end that's got the same thing right here. You gotta go to where it's clear at, which is right there. And that's not dirty. That ain't nothing but seaweed. Did you really just say it's dirty right there? Oh my it's god, right. y'all. This boy is so fucking aggravating that I make no sense. I'm about aggravating, aggravating. Time, I'm gonna just hang on to my money up in there. Oh, I gotta take my watch off. Ooh, even the 
being hot. Last day in this body. Look at this idiot. You know, he ain't got no water for the phone. Why he trying to get in the water like he do? Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect, y'all. What's the name of this? Um, we were supposed to be staying at one of these. I just can't. I wonder which one it is. <laughs> Ocean Plaza, no, that ain't it. Oh, baby, they got this blocked off. We ain't got to be on the sidewalk. Oh, yeah, they were. They were. What's this little stock face was shot at? I just wanted to see if I was gonna see that condo I was put out one the vacation for. It, it was on uh I think on off of Ocean Drive. I see I see a spicy dessert shop, y'all. And this is on Ocean Drive. And we getting this Reese cup right here. Yes. Okay, so excuse the dirt on my face. We are at the beach. But um, I did just want to tap in real quick. Um, I got the call. I've been waiting on y'all. And my surgery is at... 8 a.m. tomorrow and they said I need to be there at 8 a.m. Um, and so of course you know that means that after midnight I can't eat or drink anything which would be fine because I'm gonna be dead sleep at midnight hopefully so I'm gonna go once I leave the beach probably go and eat and then go and pop these little press-ons off and then I'm good to go set my bed up and I'm good to go y'all it is go time do you hear me I am excited and ready to go at this point. I'm trying to, I'm telling my boyfriend I'm ready to make the bed. I'm ready to lay the stuff down in the van. Like I'm ready, I'm ready to go. Like eight o'clock and it's here. And I just went and ate at a place called Crab Du Jour or something like that. Um, um, what was that? Shoot, that was on on 2nd Avenue. No, not 2nd Avenue. 31st, 34th Street. Northwest 34th Street. Called Crab Du Jour. And when I tell you that it's called Make Your Own Catch, 
I got me some snow crab legs, and when I tell you that stuff so good, I almost threw up. I kept trying to eat. You ever been eating something so good that you're trying to keep eating all of it? That food I was trying to eat in one sitting. I was not trying to get up. Oh, here go. Let me show you how to bed. So here's the name of the place. Crab du jour. I think I think that's how you say it, but if you want seafood, this is it. It was expensive. Now I did get a pound of crab legs. And then my boyfriend got some fried shrimp, a fried shrimp basket. Together, everything came in like $52. So it was a little bit expensive, but it is what it is. But y'all, I'm ready. I'm ready to do my bed. I'm ready to go out here and set the car up. Like, yeah, it's time to go at this point. I just can't believe... I am here in Miami, about to get my surgery. Who is this texting me? About to get my surgery, y'all. Did she send me a message or? Oh, this is the lady who's doing my massage. She's so sweet because she didn't even have to reach out. Um, but she just said, everything will be fine with your surgery tomorrow. It will be a success. Best of luck. I will write you tomorrow at the end of the day to know how you how how do you feel after surgery and to give you your time and your appointment for Wednesday. Let me know what time you have post op appointment on Wednesday to organize your massages. That is so sweet that she reached out because she didn't have to. Um, I'm gonna put her stuff in the. Um, I'm gonna do a video on, well, I'll be recording my massages if she'll let me, but, um, I found her on Instagram. Um, and I think she had like a special going on where you get three massages, I think for like two seventy. Um, and she comes to you. So that, that, that worked out perfect. Um, um, but yeah, I'll be doing a video and stuff so y'all could be able to find her. And then I'm getting taped up my last day in Miami by Ari. Because um, I do believe that I'm going to have some loose skin. But we'll know. guess what? We'll know tomorrow. Now, won't we? But yeah. So, I just wanted to tap in. I don't know. I think my boyfriend and his friend are trying to go out. Um... I kind of want to go, but I know that I can't eat or drink after midnight. And I don't know. I might just sit sit it out. Who knows? I think it's on the beach, so I don't know. We shall see. I do just want to get dressed up and get cute and just go somewhere for like 10 minutes and then leave. That's how I'm feeling. But I don't want to go out and drink and do all that stuff. No. Of course, Kyle got surgery in the morning. But I do just want to go and... Um, just get a little bit, just see Miami a little bit. Like, we went to the beach today. You'll see those clips. And just see what's going on. Like, we walked to that restaurant today just, you know, so we could just get a little feel and see what's all going on. But let me send her a message back um, to thank her for reaching out to me. Um, and then if we do get dressed and go somewhere, then, you know, I'll be sure to get that on video for you guys. I done messed around and was trying to watch a movie and I fell asleep and my boyfriend woke me up because him and his friend is about to get ready to go to the club and he didn't let me sleep till midnight so past midnight it is like 1 19 1 30 and of course I can't eat or drink nothing after midnight so now I'm thirsty I don't know why he let me sleep that long like that. But when he get back in the morning, I'm going to cuss him out. Because he should have woke me up. And then, uh, he better get you something to drink before midnight come. No, nah, he just let me sleep as usual. 
Y'all, in a couple hours, I'm about to get ready to have my surgery, and I can't believe it. Alright, y'all. I'll check in in the a.m. Okay, so I'm about to set the bed up. Let me see if y'all can see. Because I guess Ty ain't helping me, y'all. Oh, no, where is that? Because I ain't, I ain't with you. Uh. You think I should sleep in the living room? Yeah. Well, that should be the best. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, these things. Oh, I was say they little. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you think I should slide these underneath? Go. I'll put these in the back of the oven. Um, yeah, 
If you're just doing, if you got like a single bed or if it's just going to be you in the bed by yourself, instead of trying to lay that shower curtain down, I would suggest just getting the mattress bag. Um, I think it was only like six, $6.96 or $6.84 at Walmart. And you could just slide it over the whole mattress. I was going to put it over the pillows and everything, but Ty said I'm doing too much. So I'm just, I just slid it over the bed and that is it so i got that plastic cover 
Um, I brought a fitted sheet from home. That's the plastic cover. I bought the fitted sheet from home. And then just a blanket. And I'm going to lay on that side. He's going to lay on that side. And I guess I'll just put doggy pads over the pillows. And go from there, y'all. It is 6.30 a.m. And I got to whisper because everybody is asleep. I look so crusty. Um, I'm about to get ready to base. Um, with this soap, I used this soap for my last surgery. Um, when I had my weight loss surgery. Um, this right here. It's supposed to be some kind of sterile, antiseptic, non-sterile solution. Is what it says. And I had to base with this before I did my, um, it's a surgical scrub. I had to base with this when I had my weight loss surgery. So I'm going to base again with it. Um, and then go from there, y'all. I'm in the bathroom. My stomach hurts so bad. I'm so nervous. Just excuse how crusty I look, y'all.